Part 2. Hey guys, another video for the night. I gotta make you aware of something's going on. Congress passed the Land Lease Act. The Land Lease Act acknowledged, uh, acknowledges the United States government's, uh, we call this authorization for all the you know, all, uh, defense businesses to sell weapons to Ukraine. Okay, or we can supply them. In other words, the United States will pay money to the to the to the what call us to the to the defense manufacturers and send it to uh to to Ukraine, which is in my opinion that is provocation for war. Under the Biden administration, you know we call us that you know uh, this is this is a disaster waiting to happen because we're sending them weapons to that okay, and all of these weapons that might fall into Russian hands, especially the javelin okay. And we call us that in a, it's a foregone condition. This war's over. Whoever well, well, you know, wins this war, we call us that you know, you know, you know, uh, you know, you know, you know, it's a disaster for that country. If I think Russia's going to win because you know why, they have the upper hand and they have they they, they and I don't believe the news. Okay, I'll tell you something. A fact is this: the Ukrainian navy that ran away, they left their ships in port. Okay, most of the radar installations are destroyed. They're over Maripol right now. And they're like, you know, nearing, nearing Kiev. They can run over Kiev if they want to. They're just grinding down every opposition along the way. And don't believe that news that I see people throwing tanks. Tanks are those, those tanks that are either Ukrainian tanks. Okay, you see some tanks blown up. Okay, letting you know. Okay, I started military history, okay. You can blow up tanks, okay? You can stop one thing. There's only one thing you know, that you need to stop an army. It's not a big army. That's the thing. Russia has the numbers. Russia has the advantage. Hell, they can drop paratroopers over each city that because all the all the air forces that or Ukraine are gone, okay? And we call us that the radar system is gone, okay? And most of the, those planes that. Those pilots that they're not gonna fly up there, okay. I won't, you know, if I have a spot, I'm not, I'm not gonna risk my life for that, okay. Zelensky did that, you know, we call us, you know, should negotiate peace. He has no choice, he's being, he's being pulled between two things for his people and uh, and, and the foreign and, and investors, including the Biden administration, okay. Uh, here, and here's a tidbit, okay. Most of those are the most, you know, those most things that that, that the Russian captured. Most, uh, you know, most of those area there, they were under foreign investment. Okay. Now Biden has to rescue them because all the donors to that in the first campaign, they own half of those uh, investments. You see what I mean? America's gonna, you know, we call us that, you know, uh, America's gonna go participate in the war. You know why? A. We call us that, you know, uh, we go in there to that. We don't have. Okay, I, I'll tell you something. Okay. It's gonna be funny for you, okay? Okay, the Marines right now, they have no pilots right now. The United States Marines pilot program with that, most of their pilots that you know uh, are believing they have no budget for pilots. They gave up their tanks. In the United States right now, like that in the Army right now, most of our equipment of that needs to be replaced because of the war with Iraq, okay? And they have a problem with that finding uh, soldiers. That's so why they're signing out bonuses. And if we go to war, okay, and you put a draft out, uh, nobody's going to fight. Our society is spoiled. They know what's going to go on. And that's the thing. That's that's the thing that's going to go on right now. Right now, the Marines right now are thinking, uh, for specialists that, they don't, have, they, don't, they don't have to go to boot camp. See what I mean? So that the people who are not in shape are going in the military. I'm out of shape with that, okay? And they're gonna go in the, and they're gonna put a uniform on me that I don't even you know, see what I mean? That's the thing's gonna go on right now. And the Biden administration is sinking like a ship. That's why they need a war to distract us. And because we're oil coming up to that right now, let's face it to that. The reason why we don't know because our oil are up to that, because it's not the pipeline too also, but also we're saving it for the big push against Russia. Ah, didn't mention that, right? The strategic oil, uh, you know, petroleum is also, we share it, you know, just in case of emergency, we share that, you know, we got oils with our allies. Ah, because right now, Russia turned off the oils going to Germany. So all those tanks over there that they need oil. 
So right now, Dad, keep an eye on the Biden administration, folks. Okay, they're now desperate right now. Okay, do you know what goes? We are gonna we know we know what goes. You know you know they gonna pull everything like that that using the press. You know even that to convince us to go to war. It's a funny thing. Is it's this the liberals of that? Oh, we should fight for Ukraine now. If it's Trump fighting for Ukraine, they won't support it. See how political it is. That's that's the thing going on. So. uh See what's gonna go on with that, okay? You know, well, we're gonna go through uh, uneasy times with that, okay? But remember one thing with that, okay? It's beyond your control, so we just have to uh, write it out. So you're out there, call your senator, call your congressman, tell them that, you know, this is gonna go on. I'll see you guys later.